see when you get it it's all coiled up like uh, you know the wash line is and it's a mess so I just hung it from the ceiling because it's measuring at about eight feet seven feet in a, in a four inch so right there's the first uh, fog light bulb and you can get those uh, replace these with those uh, Xeon bulbs that are much brighter I put that uh, polyurethane stuff that you get in the caulk gun at uh, Home Depot on it and it's really sealed it tight other than that it would have leaked when you get them they're all open in the back see and not only that I put this piece of green shrink tube on there and shrink that you can see right there the transition over top of the original and then I sealed it with that uh, polyurethane like um, adhesive it's good stuff it's cheap it's about six bucks for a caulk gun tube and to keep it the last you have to wrap it in a couple of plastic bags like three or four plastic bags wrap a plastic bag over the front and the nail and it won't dry out like it normally does for you but see there's a rubber right in there which is kind of oxymoron if you're going to like have the water all gushing in the back here you know these are the lights you know there that one has to go underneath the through the dash the yellow one and uh, I'll show you how to do that I have the best way for that you might want to hook this up this is the breaker I'm going to hook this thing all up on a spare battery around the house to make sure it all works and you have all the connectors right. Alright, just lead the wires up and through here and see how nice they lay because I hung them from the ceiling for a while. Here you want to stick these on outside the car because it's much easier to put them on. And see, that little tab there goes on this side. And now you can stick them up inside the car. Actually, this one goes in like this for the other side. And that's how it goes. See? They're all pointing towards the passenger side. So it might seem like it should come this way here. The other way, you know, but it's pointing that way. In other words, see the wire's taking a loop around the back side. All right, I stuck a piece of wire in here. This here is the... The hood release and this wire slips right down in there and then this fits right over top the piece of wire see see little bend on there see and then that will sit right inside this piece right there and I'll put some tape around there and she'll go through now yeah see like that See, I have better yet than putting the shrink tube on there. You can just cut that right off. But see, that really is tight now. But you really got to soak that up, see? And it's right at the very tip of the connector. All right, I stuck some dishwashing liquid on it. It should pull it out. See, now that's the way it's done. We got the fog lights and we even got the big black insulating cable so it didn't rub the, uh, you know, this here, the uh, hood cable. Yep, there it is. I, I mean, that's like the best. And then we mounted the relay switch. There's where we mounted the relay switch on the side, right in proximity to the, to the fuse box right there. The fuse right here, see? And then we run that up alongside here and then up through the bottom where all the other wires come through and then you just plug it all the way over here. All right, uh, right there is where we're putting the brown wire. Like uh, this one right here. See, it fits pretty good right on that 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, here's the owner's manual, and right here 
it says number one is front fog light switch you know and a lot of guys are popping this one out because it's easy they can't reach this one here so what you do to do it the correct way so it's not one of these you know what do you call it a gun hack job you know want to be gunsmith something you take an eighth inch drill and you drill this plate like this one here if you want to take out you put a hole right through it then you screw a sheet metal screw in it and you just pull on the sheet metal screw and it comes out and this is the plug for this see for the uh the light switch and it fits right in there if you use this one down here you might have to do some grinding and everything it just isn't for that it goes in here isn't that where you want to put it it looks just like the original you got to do things the right way okay see that fuse that's where you stick this the ignition wire right into that bottom socket when you turn the ignition on see the light lights up you turn the ignition off and the light won't work so that's where you put this and they're not called jumpers they're called uh, a fuse top and they have two places for the fuse right there so we don't want to continue the circuit we just want this to jump up into here so we're probably just going to use the one fuse see and then we have a lot of this extra wire and this is the fuse top right here so what we're going to do is just cut that right there as short as we can up here in the dash you know, let me show you first. Yeah, see it moving? So, we're gonna cut that off right there, too. And you can use these, too, if you want. These are good kind. Don't matter, those are cheaper. We're gonna cut this off right there, too. And then we got this piece that came through the dash here. This sucker's really long. See? We're going to bring that back up here. And we're going to cut that off nice and short too. Somewhere maybe right about there. So see, we have all that cut off. Also, I got all this extra ground wire. We're going to cut that right here. See, right, say there. And, yeah, that's a good five feet there and then we're gonna cut it right here see and when that's smelly like that you can just look at that see how nice that is and then we have the piece of shrink tube already on there because it wouldn't fit up over top yeah we can't use that yucky tape so then we just see that isn't that nice and then you slide this thing down its original equipment and there that is that covers it all like so Yeah, I feel like a surgeon now. And you want to hold that up so it doesn't run down in there. Oh, that'd be weird. The patient won't like it. And there you go. I think I have one more here. Down here on the floor. And we'll just do that one. Mm-hmm. Except it's not working. There it goes. And that's the way we roll. Put a little more on there. 
Yeah, that's nice and thick. See, because we already put the shrink tube on, because it definitely won't slide down, see? And it goes all the way down like that. Look at that. See what I mean? It's a really small piece of shrink tube there. And look at that, we have the original thing there. It's like a wire guard. See how we plug that in there? Um, we can pull that cover right down over it. And there's no wires exposed. Now, this red one that we fixed all up goes inside here. Like that, see? About like so. see none of the wires will touch. And if we can stick that in there off to the side so it doesn't jam into the glove box. And you just take this, see, the switch, and you just plug it in like this, see? Stick it right in there. See? And there you go. So there we go. It's got the wire sleeve on there. I put an extra one on there so it's tied to, you know, to the wire sleeve. And then I got it coming down over the, uh, you know, the uh, bullet pull connectors there. So we'll tuck that back up in there. I believe this is a coin slot. There's the switch it's in. Oh, we gotta stick this back in. There we go. Hey, this is the one under the hood. Look at that, this flues. Beautiful. That way they don't come apart. And here I use another piece of that shrink tube. The black. It's really small stuff. So you know you get a matching job so they don't know if that's factory or what now. See? And just for the hell of it, if I can get another piece of shrink tube over top of that, I will. I can, so now look, it's double shrink tubed. So, that's the best way to do it. Double shrink tubed. All right, see this right there? It says 30 amp towing tail. Well, that's this one right here. So by putting this fuse in there, a 15 amp, you are matching the remote fuse over here, which comes with the wiring harness, and that's 15 amp too, but it's not a micro fuse. This way, your hot wire comes in here. in the headlights. Now I'm going to just turn the key off and the lights should all go off so you don't leave them on in the parking lot. So that's the thing, you want to be able to run fog lights in the headlights like you can't do with the new trucks. And cars they won't let you run both you can either run the headlights or the fog lights it's off now because I pulled the ignition see it light up and when I turn the fog lights on it goes out so yeah it's gonna run like that with the lights off so if you need to hit the fog lights you'll know right where it's at very dim light but it works all the same